Hello peeps and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm back in my Sunderland career. Yay, everyone's so happy. Um, yeah, okay, I'll stop. But this is my team, obviously. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't remember last time because, you know, I just have a really bad memory. Do well, I actually live quite. Yes, we are two and a half star. We should. A squad like that shouldn't be as good as Portsmouth, though. It'll probably go to four star by the end of the season. It, I think it's our attack that lets us down. Because Kelman and Stewart isn't the best. And then, of course, we've got, I think, well, yeah, we sold Curry. No, no, we still got Curry. Yeah, then we've got Curry, which definitely puts it down a bit as well. I, I think if I do want to improve the rating for the attack, I'll need a couple more attackers, but actually... A player that I sold to get Kelman could actually be a really good player. Yeah, Trap Diamond, because as you can see, he's still a decent. Oh, oh yeah, I bought Kelman from QPR. I was like, why is he playing for QPR? It's not the type of place that you'd expect for this lad. Yeah, I sold him just to get, but. Some of these players are the players that I sold last season. I feel like Chris Maguire, I want to sign him back, but as soon as I do, his, his rating's just going to go down a bit, so sorry about that. But Max Power, look at this. He's worth 1.1 million, and he's still 27 with a 66 rating, and then... Charlie White. I can't remember why I sold him, but I did. So, um, yeah. But we currently have no wage budget and no, uh, what's it called? I'm not gonna do any moves this transfer window. Yep. So, do we have any players where their contracts are running out? So all of those players, I can't do a new one. This one. We're probably going to win the league, honestly, but... I'm sure I played a game against Hall last episode. I don't really care. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sim to the end of the month and show you what's happened. Because I can. <laughs> but, yeah, mainly because if I sim to the end of the month and show you what's happened, then you'll you know the progress each month won't show you the team each month because uh like only one player will go to like one rating every month yeah i think that was one thing that i had sorted out because instead of everyone being unbalanced i changed it a bit and yes we absolutely smashed them so we're um five points off second with a game in hand so oh Sorry, I'm just. Oh no, it's fine. Billy Gilmore, I need to get him once we're inevitably promoted. And Alex Collado, Daniel Arzini, Billy Gilmore. I don't know why I said like that. It just sounds better. <laughs> okay, but Curry. I do like a good bit of curry <laughs> So, 
smash my favorite button. It's a guys. What do I like more? Uh, has what has Jensen submitted a transfer request? Mm. But I think currently in my team. I, I would expect us to win. Yeah. Stuart's gone up like, oh, Jensen has. Please say that he has. Please. Not. Uh, yes, he's happy with everything other than team performance. And that's fine because it's not his fault. So. Jensen probably wants to stay at the club. Yes. I'm not going to be losing Jensen anytime soon. Wow, it's really long to... <laughs> yeah, once you train them so much in one, um, it just kind of slows down. So, Matthias Jensen. Call Betel Courgette. Yeah, he'll need a new contract by the end of the season. That will. Uh, did you took a case of defensive centre back? Yeah, I'm just gonna short. So I'm just gonna sort out all this. Goalkeeper, sweeper, keeper. Actually, balanced is the quickest. The Trubin, so then Hayden Coulson. Onion Yeah, wing back is really the best for Onion I can imagine that if I had bought some wingers, our attack would be quite a bit higher. But right mids uh, are considered. Yeah, you can tell that it's mainly pre contract signings happening. Because all the players out and all the players in, they haven't cost any clubs anything. I guess now it's the end, and there shouldn't be many more. Okay, so Cheerio Mobley to City, Malkinios to Leipzig, Malinkovic Savic to PSG. I don't know how to say his name to Piemonte Calcio or Juventus. Uh, Milan Scalinia moved from Milan to United. <laughs> so funny. Luis Alberto. To Real Madrid, I feel like that's kind of realistic, but a lot of these transfers are way overpaying. Um, Awapawa to Barcelona, that might actually be the best signing out of all of these. Vardy to Liverpool, Lenway to Bayern, Dominic Calvert Lewin to Barca, Varan to United. Some of these moves really shouldn't be happening. Okay, um, let me just there. Okay, then Mount to Barca. Some of these are from really unrealistic. And twice away and. Custom and tools are now what are the cheapest. No, 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 no. <sighs> to answer B, I would actually like to get that man next season. Yeah, you can tell that I've lined a lot of players up there. Okay, so I'll just go over on these now. I think I did it last episode, but I forgot. So, yeah, Jensen. Uh, into the club, Coulson, 
into the club definitely worth it um Masengo still growing but we've but if we were to sell him he will make profit Tom Holmes I think when I originally got him he was 66 rated Trubin amazing I'm so glad I got this lad White out Max Power out and then Kelman plus Jack Diamond and that was definitely worth losing him Okay, then Tom Flanagan, Burge, and then Remy Matthews. I don't even use him anymore. I just want. I just didn't want to lose him. Actually, I, f I feel like I need to check the loney players now. So, none of them have really shot up value or anything like that but some have done good oops okay so I think I'll just get to the last hour of deadline day now this is going much quicker than the Sunderland, and so not this is the Sun, the Chelsea one. It's because the Chelsea one, I'm actually uh, playing all the games, and this one, as you can tell, I'm simming a lot because Sunderland uh, are in FIFA are a good enough team to uh, get automatic promotion, probably win it. So. That's why. Yep. So. Wow. I'm a row and sharpness and everything is really good. If I keep it like that, that would be great. But usually when you sim too many games, it's doesn't, it doesn't continue like that. But so far it's done really good. So we drew against Swindon, what are we going to do against Accrington, Stanley draw against them, I think we're going to lose against Wigan Athletic, are we? Yes we are. What are we, what are we going to do against Lincoln I think they are, win? Yeah, of course. Okay, now, what about Peterborough? Power, power draw. I feel like this is kind of fresh star promotion hopes no kind of meh. because yeah before we were we were like he It's fine. I just I don't want that kind of because we're drawing quite a lot, but I just don't want that drawing form to continue. I want to be winning, not drawing. And drawing is not nice. And that's why I don't want to. Uh, I think this is probably going to crush our hopes of winning the title. Okay, that's a win. If we have to play in the playoffs, I'm going to be so mad. But before, we were... Like, we were ready to... We were pretty much just ready to win it. And now, we're seeing... If, okay, we won against Ipswich... And there are contenders for the titles. Yes, we're still in first by four points, I think. Youth player unsettled. Well, I can't bring him up anyway, so I can't do any. Yeah, this sharpness and this just team in general is great. I think I think what you need to do. Is you do need to be stopping every now and again. Okay. 
with Gooch. I don't know we have that many players around playing in the right position, but... Oh god, and four players are leaving next season. Aye. What I'm going to do instantly next season is get my act together and buy like one or two players I guess would be fine and also get a few free agents. This isn't good. We're on track to currently win the league title. So I hope we can can fulfil that. Northampton, yep, a three 0 win. Portsmouth, please be at least a draw. Yes, a win. Can I don't know who they are, but can it be good? Yes, three nil. Alexandra, can we do good? Oh, a draw, but unbeaten that month, so I think we definitely are going to be contending for the title. Yes, we are. Okay. Then I'm going to have to do. I don't need uh, these anymore, so I can just delete them and <coughs> there so now they'll all have short contracts this is just to fill up um squad numbers it it's not because i'm looking for good players to Yeah, in one video I get through the entire season, yeah. Well, I'm going to be playing championship games, of course. I just don't feel that it's going to be... Uh, that these games are going to be that exciting, I guess, for you to watch. Because we're just going to be winning them all. And no one likes just watching every game being won. Yeah, we've won the title, definitely. Yes! We have won the title. Well, now it's confirmed. I can actually go over the squad. So, who's the? We have. Ah, uh, oh, that's really good. Ah, uh, it just goes from met all of these and then it just goes to everyone else is happy which is really good for the club so Matthias Jensen 76 Corbett 75 Truben 72 Coulson 72 he's grown a lot O'Neill he, he, he's happy so I guess that's fine but as you can see doing good gooch doing really good masengo doing really good holmes doing really good o'brien doing really good just just of course i by this i mean in their growth so now let's see who's got the o'brien with 25 goals in our promotion winning season 23 of those in the league i think he's probably being used as a uh, left middle striker now Ross Stewart how old is he yeah 24 that's why I kept him because at the start of the season he'll have been 23 I'm glad 14 goals now he's a 69 rated and Charlie Kelman met season I guess you could say but Gooch were a great season uh, Jensen with 16 assists. What's this man? You know, the next most is Coulson. Who actually could he be taught to play centre mid? 
because in real life it's a strange thing where you where players can easily just swap from a uh, center mid to but ah oh, no but that i think that probably the shooting because as you can see they do need shooting and he and he doesn't have that uh as shown from his goals like you'd expect him to at least score a goal but also masengo not scoring a goal but getting assist but trooping with 24 clean sheets i'm pretty sure i saw a player which had 25 oh okay I guess they just played. No, they yeah they play two more games. Right. So I want to see is the club now free star? Import team sheet. So next season we will officially be a championship team. And yes, because I think our midfield is just amazing. Our defense is great, but that midfield that midfield is just beautiful honestly i think if you include right mids and left mids that's only one player who's um under 70 and that's fair because look you go from sunderland to swindon look with double uh, the stars of swindon but okay i think yeah, Portsmouth, I can imagine that they got promoted with Hall, Portsmouth, and Charlton are the only other teams that got um, that, so they were probably all in uh, the promotion battle. Now, how did... Yep, like I said, they were all probably in the promotion battle, so... course us winning the league the only reason that is because charlton had uh, drew two more than us and they were the games that we'd won so then it goes to yeah it, it was very close for the title race not great but okay so not sure how plus works but i think third place fifth and fourth place sixth Am I right? No, oh, they've not been drawn yet. But the Papa John's trophy, I guess I'll go to. Oh, it's annoying getting knocked out early. Especially in the Papa John's trophy. Yeah, Bradford went on. I'm fine with them winning on. Duh. Okay, how far did... I'm just gonna check round two, so we must have been knocked out. And yep, Tranmere early on in the season we were doing much worse. So. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's Atletico Madrid against Bayern in the finals. Okay. I'm, I'm not even. <laughs> you can even see that. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, now Napoli and Hoffenheim. So I think I'll probably go to, I think all the matches will be played by the 6th of, I'll go to the 1st of June because then I can see the actual draws and who's in the final for the playoffs. So then I can also see who's won the Champions League and stuff because that could be useful of course if you just want to see what's going um, on outside of the Carabao Cup and <laughs> Papa John's Trophy in League One, which I can imagine you would. But I think this has been very interesting, I guess. Like, I feel like, I just felt like, what's the point of playing the games? I usually play the first game of the season and the sim the rest, just so I can get an idea of what the team feels like that I've created. But Mm, meh, meh. Not sure about uh, if, um, this. Like, I'm going to be playing all the games next season. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I can promote this lad right here. So, 
so I feel uh, I think that some of these yep I'll get him next season these are just players that yeah I think the game thinks that Your yeah, game thinks if they're on loan, their contract's running out. Yep, another one where the game thinks it. Okay, Benteke got a club. Oh, I can imagine that quite a few of these, uh, their contracts have been renewed just so they don't lose them. Okay. Yeah, the reason that I'm mainly doing this is because um, I noticed that uh, we were gonna, because our squad numbers are really low already. We're gonna lose a lot of players just because our squad numbers were kind of low. So I'm just looking at all the players in here, just looking if their contracts are actually running out. The reason I'm not doing it with the younger players is just because usually uh, they will get new contracts. I think I've gone through enough. So, I think if I was going to make a guess of who will get promoted, I feel like Portsmouth. Just, I just want to see. I'm shutting my eyes right now. Oh, Portsmouth was smashed. Okay, out of these, I feel like Hull are going to get promoted. So, on the 5th of June. <laughs> No, so because this is who's also coming up with us uh, next uh, year. So Europa League, Hoffenheim win that. I would have expected Napoli and Bayern. Of course, they win it. That's interesting. So Bayern lost to Atletico Madrid twice in the group stage so they came second and then they played them in the final but beat them I guess they were saving all their juice for the finals I feel weird saying that so it's probably going to be all getting through so Let's see. Uh, I'm not going to get bombarded by emails saying that I haven't read emails. <laughs> okay. You know, he might actually be a beast on excellent form. Like, I can imagine that if he's on excellent form, he's doing really well, so. Yeah, no, I think. Oh, oh, actually. Yeah, 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 New Zealand. I'm going to accept that. Glad to have you join us. I would have like, uh, do we actually have any players that come from New Zealand? Because I like to usually have uh, someone in my squad to. Because I, I just like to have someone that's in my squad in the national team. Yeet. That is. An atrocious side. I, this is absolutely atrocious. Who thought of this team? Okay, 
he he needs to be playing. Okay, I'm gonna move. This is just absolutely. I don't know what to say about that, but I I have no words. But I think Hall will go through. Okay, so I'm I'm not looking. So here, Ipswich. Okay, okay, okay. I was kind of wrong, but it's fine. So Ipswich come with us and Charlton. And that's in the championship. I will be playing majority of the games in the championship. Sorry, this is actually quite a long video. I didn't know. Okay, well, you know, I just have the timer, but I'm usually like, oh, this video is. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Selecting. I just really need you to select. Sorry about that. job I very much like my job so I'm glad I can keep my job here so I feel like oh my goodness I feel like I just like this squad as a, you know what I mean it's just a good squad overall So, I'm, I'm going to keep just using this squad that I've chose because, the, the, you know, I just don't really, I just don't really feel like it needs any changes. But, if you have any changes that, like, you feel like are a really good idea, just put them in the comments down below and... I'll do them. When will it load? When will it load? When will it load? I oh, I only know Malaga in that group, so okay. What does my squad look like now? We have no reserves, I know that. Oh! Oh! Our play we had that many players out on loan! I thought, I forgot about the loanee players, but they, we had that many, so... Whoa, that is a lot of loanee players. But... Oopsie, misclicked. Uh, I wonder how much money we have. I'm gonna guess 7.5 million. That is good for a newly promoted side. I'm not complaining at all. I am ha very happy. There's no way at all that I am sad about that. No way. That is fantastic. I have no idea who to actually buy. There's just, just too many to... Uh, yeah. I feel like Daniel Arzini. 
yeah, a lot of our former players, they've just been instantly released, which is, uh, I feel kind of sad <laughs> for them, because they've just been abandoned after they've nearly moved, but, okay, if you like, um, la, 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 Atsu, I'm just gonna, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not doing that much. So. I remember Humphreys was the player that was doing really good. And he's only like 1.6 million. It, that's not his value. It says. <laughs> but. Okay. I feel like where does the squad actually need improvements? I feel like left mid actually is the only place which we're lacking and of course attack. Attack is the only position where we I feel like but what's so good about our attack? Yeah, we've had such good Yeah, but what's so actually good about our attack? is that um look kelman 19 the lad is 19. this lad is going to be like 90 by the end of this series and the scottish stewart 69 so by the end of the season he's definitely going to be over 70. So, we don't have many problems in attack. I feel like Jared Bramfoy. Okay. Oh, 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 I just thought of that. Do I really need another? I, do I really need another? Hmm. Another midfielder? Like, are we just going to be like the kings of midfielders <laughs> at this point? How is Jack the Diamond doing? Like, I just want to see if it would actually be worth signing him back. Cause he's still young and I just want to see if he grows to like a 62. That's not enough, but... If he grows to something like a 90, no, that's a bit much, but, um, oh, Ozan Kabak, he could be a player that I could be looking at, uh, um, we have 15 million and we've only just won the, what's it called, League One, so, I, I think I can just spend a bit crazier than I normally would because but oh I can't afford this lad's wage a 22 69 rated being paid that much mm, I, 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 should I get another midfielder like we're just gonna have world class midfielders. What's the point of that? Five star, five star. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ryan Trucky, Ryan Trucky, Ryan Trucky, Ryan Trucky, Ryan Trucky, Ryan Trucky, Ryan Trucky. I need that lad, I need that lad, I need that lad. <sighs> okay, so. Turan Zebe. I'll end the video here. 40 minutes of footage, this is going to take like an hour to upload, but you know. So, bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely enjoyed making it. I'm glad we got promoted. I'm happy about that. And um, bye, I hope you enjoyed today's video.